Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we're looking into lip syncing using AI, and this is one of the most state of the art, one of the best lip syncing AIs that are available out there. Uh, this is out of a paper called A Lip Sync Expert is All You Need for Speech to Lip Generation in the Wild. And you can see some of the outputs here. That's what he'd like to. On the first issue, it's not for me to. My name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. I know you're a coward, so I've decided. My name is Tony Stark, and I have no fear for you. I know that you're a feigling. I have also decided. I call you Tony Stark, and don't be afraid. I know that you're a coward. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a coward. I don't want to do anything like this. I don't want to do anything like this. Let's see how we can implement this. So in the description, you will find links to the Colab file, and you'll also find the link to this GitHub repository. And this is developed by, and these are one of the authors. So this is from IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, this is back in India, where it's a group of uh, three or four researchers who built this, and it's very, very good. You, you can see how uh, we, uh, they also made some collab books, they also had some demos, they have a project page. I think the project page went down this morning and uh, they, have, they have their own paper. So they open source their code and everything for us to try it out. Of course, uh, I think the, uh, the license is not in MIT, so make sure before you're using it for a commercial purpose. And uh, yes, the licensing citation, yes, it's not for commercial purposes. So yeah, be careful about how you're using it. It's probably only for the education purpose at the moment. Now, let's see how we can implement this. The first thing you want to do is, now, there are a few things, there are a few steps that we're doing it. So just pay attention and uh, you'll be fine. So we're coming down here. This is, uh, you need your drive, you need the repository and you need the collab. The first thing you're going into the repository and you're going down over here and there is this weights file. It's the a model weights file that they have uh, they made it available for us. So this is called the wave to lip plus can and just go ahead and download this thing. Yeah, you can take care of the save link as or even if you open it, it'll open the one drive for their account and you can download it from here. So download this wave to lip underscore gan dot pth and this is the weights file that we will be using. Once you have downloaded this, come to your drive and uh, this is how my drive looks up when you initially start. So under the My Drives folder, you know, right when I open the drives, I have this projects folder. So create this projects folder. And the reason I kept it projects is to keep it organized. I have other projects going on here. So not to get confused, that's the reason I have a projects folder. So make sure you create that projects folder. And then I have another folder called wave to lip. Now let me maximize this a little bit. So you can see wave to lip and see that uh, the, there's no caps look here. It's all small caps. So open this. Projects is small caps. Wave to lip is small caps. And then you have the weights folder. You have the input folder. So these are two other folders that you are going to create under the wave to lip folder. And you know how to create a uh, folder in, uh, in Drive. You just right click and you create new folder and it will help you create whatever folder you want. So rename that folder. So if, say for example, if you're creating a new folder, rename this folder with the name weights and another folder with the, way, with the name input. And these two folders are required in order for us to run our Colab file. Now coming under inside the weights folder, upload that wave to lip weights file that we just downloaded. This, this file that we just downloaded, Upload it here on your drive in this particular folder, the weights folder, and it's that same file. Once you have uploaded this, come back to the wave to lip and open your input. Now, the input is something where you are uploading the video and the audio. Video is where you want to do the lip sync, and audio is where you want to take that audio and then infuse it with your video. So you can upload your video and you can upload your audio as well. The audio, they mentioned it has to be .wav and uh, it has to be a WAV file. So you can either record your own audio, which normally does in the WAV format, or you can use a software called Audacity. 
So you, there's a software called Audacity, and this Audacity is a free open source software. And if you open up any file, and uh, you can export that file in any format you want, and uh, it allows you to export it in the .wav file as well. The next thing is the video, and this video. One thing you want to make sure is the video and the audio should be approximately of the same length. I have tried where my one of my videos were about 10 minutes and the audio that I had was only for a minute and it did not work. So make sure you are using a video which is of similar size as the audio. Okay. So uh, in, uh, in my case here, I was using one, one minute and another one minute here for the prompt video. And uh, you have already seen the audio, you have already seen uh, if you haven't seen, I'll put the link. In fact, I'll put a little bit of clip here in this video as well for you to see. Uh, the idea is basically where you are uh, mimicking or where you're lip syncing the audio from one file to the video of another file. Now, coming down to the cola, once you have done everything, come down here. Uh, you can run time, go into runtime and change runtime type and make sure it is under GPU and save it. So once you have everything done, let me close this guy up. So you have the input files, you have your wave to lip folder, you have your weights file. So and you don't need this anything anything more. So let's come back to the collab file. Now we start generating into how we're doing it. I'm maximizing this a little bit. So the first thing is making sure your file, your runtime is is under GPU, and then let's start running it. So it it will ask us to mount our Google Drive that we can copy the files from our wave to lip folder from the drive. Now you can see the moment it clicks, it asks you to go to this page and uh, it will go to this page. I'll blur this out a little bit, but uh, you open the browser, you open the account that you want it to file and then click on allow access and then copy the code that you, you see over there. Take that code, come back here and paste it in the authorization code. So once you have done the authorization code, it will take care, it will mount the drive from there and it will mount or it will connect, create that connection between Colab and Google Drive. The reason you're doing this is because Colab is not capable of storing. It doesn't allow you to store any information. Uh, every 90, uh, 90 minutes or an hour or so, they refresh Colab and it deletes everything. So you want to connect your drive so that you're not losing your data. Uh, once you have the Google Drive, you're coming down and you're cloning the repository, the original repository from the original authors, and you're just cloning them. And this code is basically from their own collab file. The, the reason I'm uh, running, uh, I'm, I have it here is because there are some small changes that we did to make it easy for us to understand, but uh, the code is uh, directly from them. It's the same collab file that they have made it available. Now, coming down here, so we have cloned the repository. The moment you clone the repository, you'll get these two files, the wave to lib folder, and this is where all their requirement and all their model and training files are available. Well, once you have done this, uh, this is just to show where, where we are. It's, it's telling you that it's under the main folder under the root directory, which is now not too of concern. Now, this is where we want to use that wave weights file. So you can see the weights file so wave to lib GAN path, and this is coming from the drive. So uh, here in the drive folder under the my drive and under the projects folder that we created, we have our wave to lib folder, and that's where under the weights file, it's going to take this weights file from here. But we're just copying this weights file and then putting it under the drive under our own wave to lib checkpoints folder. So we are copying this file from here and pasting it here under the wave to lip folder and it's under it's going to go under the checkpoints folder right here so this is the only thing we are doing in this step we copy it and we put it under the checkpoints folder it'll take a few seconds and uh, once the copy is done by colab will be done and we can then install and uninstall whatever libraries we want so uh, the first thing is they want us to uninstall the tensorflow and gpu versions that come along with this because uh, they have a certain other certain other versions that we want. They, they're using TensorFlow 1.12, and that's the reason why they want us to uninstall whatever comes 
predefined from here. Uh, they do want us to press yes or no. Just press yes. It might ask you again, just press yes, and it'll uninstall TensorFlow for us. So it'll take a few seconds, and after after a while, it'll down it'll uninstall TensorFlow for, for us. Okay, so we have the TensorFlow uninstalled. Now coming down here, we are installing all the requirements for a fresh for the wave to lib folder. We just press the play button and it will download all the files that we need for this project. It's also taking open CV, NumPy, Librosa. These, these are all, uh, Librosa is one of the audio files, if I remember correctly. Then you have TensorFlow. We'll give it a few seconds for it to do its job. Once that is done, then we'll come down to this folder. Uh, this is downloading one of the weights file from this particular website and the face detection. So they are they are doing some sort of face detection to understand where the where the lips are available. And for that purpose, they need these of these weights file as well. Let's see how where we are on this. In fact, uh, even while this is running, if you just press the play button, it'll keep it in the queue. And once this is done, it will immediately go into running this. Let's give it a few seconds. Oh, you can see this is a 676 MB file. No wonder it's taking too much of time. You don't no need to worry about the error you see here. Okay, it took a few minutes, but once it's done, okay. So we have all the wave to lip for face detection libraries, also all the weights file downloaded. Now coming down to the change the video and audio file names. So this is one section which you want to be paying attention to. So you are now copying the video and the audio that you presented under this input folder. So here in this case, you want to give the right file name of whatever video you want to copy. So here, for example, I have it under the project's wave to lip input and this video, trump.mp4. So change to whatever video you want and change that file name to trump.mp4. And in case of the audio coming under the project's wave to lip input audio.wave. So make sure you're changing whatever audio file name that you have and audio.wave. You're just copying that audio and video under the sample data folder. So again, come, uh, you're just copying whatever is available from our inputs folder, these two audio files, whichever are two audio, one of the audio and one of the video files. You're just copying one, one of those and putting it under the sample data folder. So you'll see the sample data folder will now be updated as soon as we run this. It'll take a few seconds. And now you can see, if I refresh this, let me close this back again and open it up. You can see now the sample data has the audio.wave and the trump.mp4 file available here for us. But once we have this, then we are coming down again to copy these files or the checkpoint files from, now we are starting to run the uh, inference or we are run, trying to run the file and it will give you the output, the final output from this file. So this is the most important step. Again, coming down here under the sample data file, you want to give the right file name, or right video file name you, you were using and also change the audio file name that you were using. So make sure whatever audio or whatever video you're using and you're renaming those files here in this step. Once this is done, just press run and it'll take a few seconds and it'll create the generation file for us. So yeah, it'll go through all the frames in the video and uh, then based on those video frames, it will generate the output for us. The output, if you don't want to wait till the video fair, this thing completes. So you can see now it has about 176, uh, oh, sorry. It has about 1,913 video frames. So images in that video. And it's going to swift through all those video frames to create that lip generation model for us. And the output, the output would be available on, inside this wave to lip folder and under the results tab right here. 
on, under this results tab, immediately once everything is done, you will see a new file called result underscore video dot mp4. And that is the output file that you want. Once that is there, just go ahead and download this and it'll take care of it for you. Uh, I'll uh, allow this to run a little bit and uh, I'll come back and I'll show you how that file looks like. So here now you can see that it's almost about to be end and it's saying that the output is under the results and it's under this file called result underscore voice dot mp4. And let's give it a few more seconds. It's almost about to be done. And in fact, let's see if we can refresh and see the output here. Yeah, you can already see the output here. It's still under construction. Uh, there are still some things back end. But uh, this is the file that you want to download. Uh, once it's done, once the circling is done, you just right click on this and download this file. And it'll take care of it. Uh, this is as much as you need, and uh, it'll take care of the wave to lip audio generation for us. Now, uh, there are two more variations that they have provided. One is to create some sort of a padding within the chin region uh, to make it more realistic. And the other is using low resolution. This is in order if you if you want to reduce the resolution that uh, the video file is about because the original video file, the original uh, weights that they had created were on lower resolution. So it will bring down the resolution of the quality of the video, but the syncing, the lip syncing will be more accurate compared to the other ones. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. Hope this uh, video was more inspiring and giving us an idea of how where the AI community is going. And this is just more of a demo and trial version. And with that, you guys take care, stay safe, bye-bye.